Okay, hi everybody. Okay, a couple more comments about the sheet metal bender or break that we have here. <clears throat> and um, this is a pretty great machine. Uh, it just You just need to have a little bit of understanding about how it works and there is, we already demonstrated how to actually do some bends. But I want to explain a couple more things that I kind of didn't go over. And that is, there's a lot of adjustments to be made. Now right now, if I clamp this thing down on a piece of metal, You'll, this is the fold line right here where this, where this long crack is, okay? And you can see it more when I bring this thing up. That's where the piece is going to bend. So, but there are some adjustments here that you need to take into account. So the material that we just bent was 0.062, okay? So 16th of an inch. But if I want to do something that's an eighth inch thick, or maybe even slightly th thicker, <clears throat> then I need to adjust this thing a fair amount. And so on the back side, there are a couple of screws. This thing needs to be loosened up. And I can, if I want a, if I want a bigger bend uh, or a thicker piece of metal, I can slide this whole piece back by screwing, by winding this big guy right here. And I can actually see it moving backwards, okay? And you really don't need to move it a whole lot. Okay, just a very small amount. And it's going, it's, it's there is a certain amount of um, uh, flexibility here on really how much you need to actually move the thing. So I always suggest that you experiment with your material. Um, you're gonna have a tough time um, bending material in here, steel over an eighth of an inch, okay? And that's if it's just a narrow piece. Okay, so you're not going to be able to do a long, wide piece that's like full length. You're going to have to stick with the, some of the smaller or softer materials. Um, so you can also gauge the tightness of this thing when you clamp it down. When I pull this clamp down, if I'm doing thicker material, I want it to be really uh, very, very tight, okay, because it matters how much pressure you put on it. Otherwise, your part's going to kind of try to slide away from the bend. And the way to do that is right down here. You just take the pressure off and you can screw this screw, this nut on this bolt a little bit. And when you pull on this thing now, you're gonna have to put a lot more strain on it. Of course, if I have a piece of metal in there, it's even gonna be tighter, right? So um, you've gotta be able to pull this down without you know, straining too much, but you gotta put good solid pressure on it for it to work right. So um, the softer materials are going to bend far easier, like your aluminums or copper, materials like that. However, with your aluminums, also remember that if you're bending 60, 61, chances are you're going to crack the corner where you're bending it at. OK, so work with the, uh, the malleable aluminums. Like, the 2000 series, the 3000 series, uh, the 5052 or 5053, yeah, 5052 um, will bend a lot easier than the 16th. So uh, you may end up finding yourself having to go back re-welding aluminum if you have to do that. So you don't want to do that. Anyway, um, we have lots of these different uh, fingers and you can take these off, modify them if you want to get something into a particular shape. You don't, you don't want to have a long piece of bend and try to bend it with just one little finger, okay? You need to have it so it's really close. You might have noticed on that, on bending that one sheet, uh, that one box, you know, it's about this wide in one area, but the finger is only this wide. It still worked, okay? It was close. It did, it did okay. So, um, but you, tr you, want, you want this finger pressure to be as, covering as much of your material as possible, okay? So I don't have every possible dimension of this thing possible, but if there was a real unique situation, we can modify or we can get some material to make one that fits. Um, other than that, um, you know, there's not too much stuff here to really worry about. Uh, you just pull that up. If you have a bad back, you might not want to be working with this thing, <laughs> okay? So that's just kind of how it is. But this is all we have to offer for doing that kind of bending. And um, if you have any questions about it, please ask.